Oh, yeah. Look at you, you hypocrite. Go ahead, brother. You have what is called Lent. That's right. Pagan festival. Who started this Lent stuff? The only thing I knew about Lent is a ball on your clothing. Amen. Pull it off. Amen. But you so-called Christians, you don't ask no questions. You just go along. Yeah. To get along. You don't investigate nothing. Oh, and yeah. that's why you look at me harshly and get upset because what we bring you is in here and what you believe is out there. Right. This is our foundation. That's right. We don't make up nothing. If it's not in here, we don't believe it. If it's not in here, we refuse to practice it. If it's not in here, we won't condone it. We don't care if a billion people patronize it. There's more with us than it is with them. Now, Many of you would get upset and say, he's blaspheming. He's saying Christianity is not in the Bible. That's not blaspheme, that's true. That's the truth. I'm telling the truth. That's the truth of it. And many of you get angry. I don't care what you say. My religion is Christianity, you fool. That's a fool. If you truly want to be like Christ, Christ said, it is written. It is written. You, you hear him talk every time the devil jumped on him. Christ said, it is thus, written. it is written. Right. Now, I'm saying to you, it has to be written. Has to if be. it's not written, you might as well take it and throw it in the trash. Because when the great God come, every man work going to be tried by fire. And if it don't stand the fiery test, yeah. the great God of heaven is going to burn it up. That's right. So let's, let, let's go back and talk about this Lent. <laughs> this pagan indulgence founded by the Catholic Church. <laughs> the same ones that started Mardi Gras. That's true. And let's look at how this worked now. That's true. During the time of Mardi Gras, you're free to do what you will. Even the police won't arrest you. Amen. And after that week of demonic indulgence, the next stop is Ash Wednesday. Yeah. You put smut. You put dirt to compliment the dirt that you've done. That's right. Put dirt on your head. And then after the dirt, everything's supposed to be leading up to Easter. Yeah. You have your Lent and pagan festivals and Good Friday. Yeah. Good Friday is supposed to be when, you know, Jesus was crucified. And if you think Jesus was crucified on Friday, you don't know your math. <laughs> Book plainly says, as Jonah was in the belly of the well three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. If you kill him on Friday and get him up Sunday, you can't get three days and three nights. No, no. So your good Friday is no good. Amen. Amen. Now let us look at Easter. I want it to be good for any egg lovers here. Yeah. You say Jesus rose on Easter. Right. I mean, I've been hearing that since I was a kid. Oh, yeah. When I was in the, you know, elementary school, we'd make our Easter baskets, you know, and buy our little fake grass, mm -hmm. you know, and we could hear the music. 
and your east of bonnet right. with all your thrills upon it that's right you'll be the grandest lady and the easter hooray Amen. so what they, the school would do would have Easter parades. Yeah. Right. You make your Easter bonnet and you put it on and you walk through the neighborhood. I remember I felt stupid. <laughs> Got my little paper plate and stapled it together and glued some stuff on it and I'm walking around the neighborhood. That's right. A little fool pagan was I. Fool. Amen. You know when you don't know you're swept up in stupidity. <laughs> That's right. Viewers and you that are here, Jesus, the Bible never said at no time, no time, mm -hmm. no place mm -hmm. that Jesus rose on Easter. That's the time that the carnal mind set aside to come to church just to look good. That's right. You can't even get the message because you're so worried about what you got on. Yeah. Worrying about how polished your shoes are. Oh, yeah. So you won't kneel. Amen. Scared you're going to scuff up your toe. That's right. Scared to clap when someone sang because you don't want your hair to get fuzzy. Huh. Can't get into the swing of things because your wig may shift. Yeah. Or your fake eyelashes may get in your eye. Right. We that are true worshipers right. have no interest, no interest in paganism. No interest. You cannot be a child of God and then want to believe some of the scriptures. Right. He told Ezekiel to eat how much? Oh. Eat all of them. Because oh. you know the way God, many of you heathens are? You in church now yeah. celebrating another lie. Easter. 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 You're a liar. 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 You're a 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 liar. You go hide in your egg, but you're going to hatch out in hell. Yes, you will. I know many of you sitting here now, you still got the palms from your false church last Sunday. Last Sunday. Dried seaweed. Amen. They threw palms at Jesus' feet. The same ones that did that was yelling crucify him later. That's right. So you're too late. They've done that already. Well, what about the scripture that says, I saw a number that no man can number. These were they arrayed in white robe and have palms in their hands. Yes. You're too early. They ain't come yet. No. That's right. That's right. Too late for one, too early for the other. That's right. Giving out palms is heathenism. That's right. Easter is of the devil. Of the devil. Oh, listen at me, preachers. Amen. Listen at you. Listen at what I just said. Mm. Easter was started by the devil. Yes. Sponsored by the devil. Mm -hmm. There's a paganism. That's right. Jesus never, never. at no time, mm -hmm. taught. Mm -hmm. He rose on Easter. Easter. Easter morning. The Passover had nothing to do with eggs. No. Baskets. No. Or rabbits. Mm -hmm. Thank God, God worked in Moses. In Moses. The Old Testament mediator. That's right. For Moses said, I stood between you and God at, at that, that time. time. Mm -hmm. And he that despised Moses' law mercy. died without mercy. mercy. God instructed the prophet. You instruct the people. Take the blood of an unspotted lamb. Yeah. Put it on the doorpost. Because death is coming in town. That's right. And, uh, Whoever mm -hmm. is not covered yeah. by the blood, by the blood. death going to come in. That's right. The word Passover mm -hmm. represents the deed of an angel. Of an angel. 
death pass over the word pass over means to spare the lives of that's right that's right. it passed over it went by them yeah they passed right over them and let them live yeah and as a result of god mercy mm -hmm. the jews put together a feast that they hold to this day, commemorating, commemorating what Jehovah, what Jehovah did. done for their forefathers. That's right. Pass over them. That's right. To this day, no rabbits. No rabbits. No eggs. No, no. No chocolate bunnies. <laughs> no. No new suits. No. No new hats. Amen. Nobody was out shopping to look good for Easter. That's right. What? That's right. Nobody. Nobody. No making bags, yeah. Easter baskets in school. Baskets. When you're in holiness, mm -hmm. your children mm -hmm. don't make no Easter baskets. No Easter baskets. Don't dye eggs. No, no. It doesn't matter if the teacher sent a note. We asked each child to bring three boiled eggs for the Easter party. Amen. The mother don't participate in it. No, no. If you boil that egg, put it on the table so your greedy child can eat it. That's right. No dying eggs. No dying eggs. That's Children right. not allowed to participate in the Easter parade. Amen. Don't walk through the neighborhood right. in an Easter parade. Doesn't matter if you got to keep your child at home. That's right. That's right. It has nothing. Nothing to do with Passover. Nothing. Nothing to do with, to do with Jesus and the resurrection. It's paganism. That's all it is. Passover is a sacred thing. Amen. Lord, oh, thank God when Jesus had the feast of the Passover, it was from the ingredients that was right there on the table where he come along and tell you, I want you to eat my body and drink my blood. That's right. It wasn't come along making baskets. You're not even allowed to sing a song to commemorate that life. That's right. With your Easter bonnet. Amen. And all the thrills upon it. Amen. You will be the grandest devil and the Easter hellbound parade. parade. You're going right. to hell for that. That's right. You're going to hell for that. For that. You so called Christian. See, you thought you was a Christian till you came here. Amen. <laughs> thought you was a Christian, didn't you? Amen. Liar, you ain't no Christian. No Christian. Christian oh means like Christ. Yeah. When did Christ celebrate Easter, you hypocrite? That's right. Now, you know that your church you go to is having an Easter egg hunt for the children. They had a Good Friday party for the Good Friday. Good Friday. Every day is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There ain't no such thing as Good Friday in the Bible. No. There is no Lent celebration in the Bible. No, it's not. Do you have any knowledge of history? Yes. Lent originated by the Catholics. Amen. Ash Wednesday originated by the Catholics. That's right. The purpose of putting ashes yes, is admitting you took a break from sin. Amen. Now you were ash yeah. to atone yeah. for your sins. Yeah. The same ones that tell you put ash, <laughs> it was the Catholics mm -hmm. that started Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Hey, your fool. That's right. The Catholics are the founders yeah. of Mardi Gras. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead, brother. After Mardi Gras is over, you go into ashes. Yeah. Where you're supposed to repent of your Mardi Gras behavior. That's right. Or the devil made a sucker out of you. That's right. That's right. He observed days. Here, here, 
Yeah, everybody all right? Amen. Hear this now. In the book of Galatians chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 10. Oh, that's it. Ye observe days. Ye observe days. And months. Months. And times. Times. And years. How did the apostle feel? I am afraid of you. Why? Lest I have bestowed upon you labor in vain. When he's talking about the observance of days and months and times of years, when he's speaking against it, he's talking about those ob observations or mm -hmm. observances that contradict God's word. That's right. Because every day that you commemorate don't contradict God's word. No. Not at all. No. You may commemorate the day you and your wife got married. Mm -hmm. That don't violate no Bible. No. You may commemorate the day you was born. Right. That don't violate the Bible. That's right. You may commemorate your mother. Yeah. Or your father. Or your father. That don't violate the Bible. No. You may commemorate the day that God filled you with the Holy Ghost. That's true. That's true. Commemorate the day you were baptized. That's right. Commemorate the day you heard the message. That's right. That's right. That's, That's a right. good day. That's a good day. Let me give you a revelation. Did mm -hmm. you know Paul observed the day? Yes, he did. He did? Yes. Yes, he did. In fact, he even told you where he got to go so he can observe it. In the book of Acts chapter 20. Hallelujah. Let me educate you. Can I give you some knowledge today? Amen. With, with God help, will you hear this? Hear this. Let me show you where the apostle, this is after he preached against observation. That's observing. Right. Mm-hmm. In Acts what about anniversaries, Pastor Jennings? Is that in the Bible? Yes. yes. Where? In the second chapter of Acts. Acts. What? That was the anniversary. Yes. It was what you think Pentecost was. Mm -hmm. It was a celebration yes. from the Old Testament that led to the New, commemorating the High Sabbath. That's and right. it was called Pentecost. That's, right. That's where the Jews gathered from every nation. Yeah. It takes place to this day, every year. Every year. And the name of the anniversary is called Pentecost. Pentecost. And in the book of Tibet, it's called the Feast of Weeks. Mm -hmm. Come on. In the book of Acts chapter 20 and at verse 16. All right. For Paul had determined to this sail by Acts Ephesus. Chapter 20 and, and verse, verse 16. 16. Look, I want to show you how Paul was so in the hurry to observe it. That's right. All right. For Paul had determined to sail by Ephesus. Paul was determined to sail by Ephesus. Because he would not spend the time in Asia. Wait a minute. He wasn't going to stay in Asia. For he hasted. He was in a hurry. If it were possible. If it were possible. For him to be at Jerusalem. For him to be at Jerusalem for what reason? The day of Pentecost. Uh, Amen. I got to get to the time. One time. Got to see what ship is going out. That's right. Why? Ain't no cars. That's right. Ain't no planes. Mm -hmm. And ain't no buses. Yeah. I don't want to go to Asia. Mm -hmm. I want to say, well, why he would observe it? Because he was a Jew. He's still a Jew. It was the custom of the Jews. That's right. See, when the Bible speaks about customs and traditions, it's speaking about the customs and traditions that's right. in violation of the Amen. Bible. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 10 and begin at verse 1. Follow me. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. What is it? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. The heathens have lessons. That's right. If they didn't have lessons, the Bible wouldn't tell you, don't learn it. That's right. <laughs> it says, learn not. Learn not the way of the heathen. That means the heathen got ways that they can teach you. That's right. What is it? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Why? For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people. The customs, the tradition of the people. Are vain. Are worthless. When you do something that's vain, mm -hmm. it's worthless. It doesn't mean nothing. In yeah. fact, it mount up to absolutely nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. right. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Now listen at this. I have preached this more over. Amen. Many people. There is no other event in history mm -hmm. or today where anyone go get trees Jeez. and decorate them but on Christmas. That's right. You can go to churches and find a Christmas tree in the church. Mm hmm you can go to church and find a little dirty old manger Amen. of a little child, child. Mm -hmm. supposed to be Jesus. That's right. That's a mockery. That's right. The one God say, make no image of me. Mm -hmm. Who told you Jesus' skin was white and his hair was blind and his eyes was blue? Amen. Who told you Jesus' skin was brown and had dreadlocks in his head and a goatee beard? That's right. Why, in the churches, you're not supposed to have a cross with an image on it. That's right. Jesus not on no cross now. Mm -hmm. So whenever you got a cross with an image on it, that's a lie. Amen. That's not acknowledging his resurrection. That's right. Because he still got him in a place that he no longer is there. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's not acknowledging his resurrection. That's right. Who told you he looked like that? Mm -hmm. Who told you his hair was that length? Amen. So I said, well, in the book of Revelation, it gave the color of his skin. No, it didn't. We'll, we'll go there. We'll break that down. Come on, son. Finish where you're at. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the people are vain. For one cut us a tree out of the forest. One. Now, you don't have to cut it. Mm -hmm. They cut it for you. For you. Then set it on a corner. That's right. That's right. So you can buy it. Mm -hmm. Christmas. Christmas. Listen. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Yes. The work of the hands of the workman with the axe. Uh -huh. They deck it they with silver. They deck it with silver. And with gold. Don't they? Amen. Christmas coming around, they're going around the tree just singing. <laughs> singing, jingle bell, jingle bell, Santa, Santa, liar. Mm -hmm. If you analyze how they make Santa Claus, believe it or not, if you listen closely to what they say about him, mm -hmm. they made him equal to God. That's right. That's right. Because this is Santa know all things. Amen. He know you when you're sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> you see, I check up on everything. That's right. Yeah? Amen. When you try to come along, <laughs> when you come along and go make someone like God, brother, you're going to have trouble out of me. Oh, yeah. Listen to what they say about Santa. Mm -hmm. He know you when you're sleeping. Yeah. He know when you're awake. Mm -hmm. He know when you've been bad or good. That's right. So be good, for goodness sake. Amen. And he's supposed to go all over the world. All over the world. And one night, he's everywhere. That's yes. God. That's right. That's God. That's right. That's right. Only one that's everywhere is God. Only God. Only one that knows you're down, setting and up, rising is God. God. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. Like some 500-pound man and a soup made out of felt coming down your chimney with knee-high boots? That's right. Amen. Go ahead. And a bag? Amen. And your wicked parents tell their children, listen, you leave Santa some milk and cookies because he's going to be awful hungry from the journey. Mm-hmm. You then when you, <laughs> you get up that morning and you don't see the milk and corn cookies, you ask yourself, what happened to the milk and cookies, Mama? Oh, Santa ate it. That your greedy mama or your greedy daddy ate it. Amen. That's all. That's all. Amen. Yes, just get it real. Your greedy parents ate it. That's right. Mama probably drunk the milk and old daddy ate the cookies. <laughs> Santa ate nothing. Amen. If you love your children, stop lying to them. That's right. You spend all this money for Christmas to wish up something that is not truth at all. It's paganism. Then when you get in debt, you pray and ask God to get you out of it. Amen. You the one got yourself in it. Amen. If you wouldn't celebrate the lie, you wouldn't be in debt. That's right. That's right. Are right, you listening to what I'm talking? Go ahead. Come on, son. They deck it with silver. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen. They deck it with <laughs> silver and with gold. They deck it. Oh, yes. They put that star on top of that tree and just hanging and walking around with their Christmas records on, listen to old Nat King Cole singing chestnuts. <laughs> Don't it open fall? See, the Christmas spirit is a spirit from hell mm -hmm. that makes the people feel well. That's right. There's a spell from hell that makes them feel well. Amen. Because if you take note on Christmas, Amen. everybody's so cooperative. When war is going on in the Middle East, when Christmas come along, they stop killing. Stop. That's right. That's right. You know it's of the devil. Amen. Amen. They stop killing mm -hmm. on Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then on the 26th, everybody come back and bear arms. That's right. That's right. Whenever you're in the church and you see that good-for-nothing preacher getting up saying, well, if this is the day I was saved, you was born. You got a liar in front of you. Amen. You got a liar. That's right. That's Bible right. don't teach that. No. So I say, well, when was he born? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can go to the Bible and get his month. Right. So I say, you can. Oh, yes, I can. That's right. You can, yes. Oh, yeah. How? I can't use an American calendar, though. Right. I have to use a Hebrew calendar. That's right. Well, how can you get his month? 
Because it was in the sixth month, sixth month. when Gabriel mm. came to Mary. Mary, that's right. So it was in that sixth month when conception took place. That's right. So I got to get a Jewish calendar and find out what is the sixth month of the Jewish calendar. Right. And then add eight more months to that first month to get nine, but I can't get a date. That's it. Because John was six months older than Jesus. Jesus. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you understand? Amen. Amen. No Christmas. No Christmas. Humbug is of the devil. That's right. Save your money. That's right. It's of the devil. Amen. Amen. Singing your Christmas carols. And some folks don't even believe in Jesus. <laughs> they give you a bottle of wine for Christmas. Yes, they will. Christmas party. Vodka and eggnog. Mm -hmm. Vodka and orange juice. Amen. That's not Christmas. No. That's of the devil. That's right. This may sound strange to many people's ears. <laughs> It's strange to those that never heard. Amen. Listen. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. You don't know no other time of year when they do this. Amen. Look at Easter. Mm -hmm. Jesus is supposed to have rose on Easter. The Bible ain't never said that. No. The Bible said it rose early in the morning while it was yet dark. Mm -hmm. Easter don't even have nothing to do with no, eggs. That's right. A lot of folks don't even know what Easter means in the Bible. That's right. Easter have one meaning. Passover. Passover. Mm -hmm. It was here before Jesus walked earth. That's right. Passover was during the days of Moses. Mm -hmm. When the duel was between Moses and Pharaoh. Amen. And God sent a proclamation how the death angel going to come through. And instructed Moses to get blood from an unspotted lamb and put it over the doorpost. And when the death angel come through, all those who had the blood over the doorpost, the death angel would do what? Pass over. Over, over. that's right. But what, what, what you going to bring? Easter. Easter. Go ahead. Not a big rabbit coming through Egypt. No way. No. A big bunny. Taking out the firstborn of every Egyptian. No. If you find a five-foot rabbit down here in the south, you kill it yep. and skin it and eat it. That's right. That's what you do. That's right. If you're going to have church, have it for real or close up your doors. Amen. That's all. Amen. If you're going to have church, have it for real or close up doors. Close the doors. That's right. That goes for the Catholics, too. That's that right. the Pope was a true representative of God, he wouldn't have palms on a Sunday. No. no. You can't go have palms and try to use the scripture when they threw palms at Jesus' feet. Mm -hmm. Because if you read further, the same one that threw palms at his feet, yeah, crucify him. Amen. Neither can you go to the book of Revelation mm -hmm. when John said, I saw a number that no man could number, arrayed in white robes. These were they that have palms in their hands. That didn't even come yet. That's right. You're too late for one incident, you're too early for another. Amen. No palms. No palms. Going to a church just to come back with dried seaweed. Palms. Right. No right. palms. No Halloween. No Halloween. No tricks or no treats. That's right. Amen. That's right. Holiness. Holiness. That's what holiness is. Amen. That's all I have in my bag. Holiness. Amen. Yeah. That's right. I thought I'd keep my medicine bag. Oh, I ain't got to search around and say, well, she need this. He need that. Now, yeah. get in the bag. You pull out one medicine. Holiness. That's Who it. need everybody? That's right. No Halloween. No Halloween. You don't even need the Holy Ghost. Common sense would tell you that's of the devil. Amen. Anytime you have a bunch. Halloween is designed to celebrate darkness, witchcraft. Witchcraft. That's right. When I was young, I was raised to believe that stuff, Halloween. Mm -hmm. It was raised just to do it, just to get candy. That's it. That's you right. You believed it too, didn't you? Oh, yeah. You got just up at something too, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. Amen. He said he used to get just up as Casper. It was his favorite one. <laughs> he imagined him looking like Casper. You know he was deceived, God knows. We didn't waste our money buying a costume. Amen. We just went to our trunk in the basement, mm -hmm. pulled out old clothes, made ourselves look like bums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but look at the churches. Amen. You have the main auditorium, they haven't supposed to be church service. Mm -hmm. And the downstairs fellowship hall, rented out to the neighborhood for a Halloween party. Party, that's right. Brothers and sisters, when you evaluate the scriptures, 
It's supposed to be separation That's from right. the world and church. And the church. Am I right? Amen. It's supposed to be separation Difference. from sin and holiness. That's right. But today, sin is church. It's church. Amen. Everything is justified. Everything is condoned. Every Anything is allowed. And everybody is quiet as long as it's quiet. And the only thing that's preached in the churches is what I call the get-over messages. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. And tell the folk, say yes. And everybody say yes. Say yes. 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 That's right. All that noise. Then the preacher say, woo. Amen. Then you find folks getting up. Mm. And then in the spirit keeps you know. Men. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah. Am I right? I say. Amen. You know, some of you laughing because you know it's in your church. You know what's in there. Mm -hmm. You can find some of them fairies. You got fairies down here in this house. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You are the devil. You are the devil, God knows. The devil. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. A real man of God to check out his own place and root up everything yeah. in it. That's not like God. That's right. Is that right? That's right. If he got some fairies round there among his own people. He had clipped their wings so they can't fly. Amen. Clip them. That's right. Huh? That's right. Clip them. That's right. Glory to God. Clip them, I say. Clip them. Amen. You walk around me walking like a fairy and acting like a fairy, I clip you. Oh, I'll yeah. pluck all your feathers and leave you bald <laughs> until I see nothing but all Jesus. That's right. Amen. That's right. Come on, son. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the people are vain. But one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Get them Christmas trees out your house. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the ones you already got that you have for years packed in your box. Amen. That old plastic tree. Some of you don't go buy them because mm -hmm. you're tired of wasting money and throw it out for New Year's. You got yours packed in a box. Get it up and set it out in trash, heathen. That's right. You're still a heathen. Still a heathen. Take all your little green and silver Christmas balls, throw them out. <laughs> Go ahead. You're the heathen. That's right. That's right. Take all your Christmas records and dump them. You're the heathen. Heathen. Amen. Yes, you are. Who? Right. You. <laughs> You're the heathen. Heathen. Amen. You see how the Lord Amen. saved your money? Amen. You ain't got to worry about buying that girl nothing now. Reach that. Go ahead. <laughs> Glory to God. Go ahead. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. You ain't got to buy that wife nothing for Christmas nothing. no more. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to buy him nothing. Mm -hmm. When you walk this holy way so tight, if the grandparents buy your children something for Christmas, you don't even accept it. Don't accept it. We Amen. don't compromise God's way, not even for family. That's right. God first. That's right. God first. Amen. Go ahead. All right, listen. Holiness. 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 Well, how long that stuff been here that you're talking about? It's been here before the world was. Before the world began. Give me Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. Follow me. In Ephesians 1 and verse 4. I want to dump this holy religion on you. According as he hath chosen us in him. According to as he, he who, he God is one. That's right. According to as God has chosen us in him. Before. Before. For the foundation of the world. For the world was God's purpose for us to be what? That we should be holy. Ain't no one in religion go back that far. No, no. For the foundation yeah. of the world? Amen. You mean to tell me you here before the foundation of the world? That means you were here before the creation exists. That's right. Before. Before the foundation That's of the I world. That's why I preached this stuff so bold, so firm, and so hard. In anybody's country, in anybody's town. That's right. Holiness, Holiness. unto the Lord. Amen. All churches mm. must be holy. That's right. All people must, must be, be holy. That's right. All preachers mm. must be holy. Amen. And holiness without. Holiness. Do you hear this? In, he in Hebrews 12 and verse 14. Yes, yes. Follow peace with all men. Follow peace with all men. And holiness. And holiness. Without. Without. Which no man. No man. Shall see the Lord. All right, then. The, if the Bible says holiness without which mm -hmm. no man shall see the Lord. No man. But tell me how you're going to be saved being something else. 
That's right. Bible plan, he says, without holiness, you can't see the Amen. Lord. That's right. Well, how are you going to see him with something else? Amen. Tell me. Amen. Amen. There ain't no such thing. You got your religion, I got mine. No. No, no. It's not Piccadilly here. <laughs> That's right. One religion. That's right. One standard. That's right. One divine concept. That's one right. divine law. That's right. One idea. That's right. God thoughts, not mine. That's right. This is not Pastor Jennings Church. <laughs> I'm not the founder of nothing. Amen. Go ahead. I'm Amen. not the founder of no church. This church was here before I was born. Oh, yeah. I'm Pastor Jennings' religion now. <laughs> Let's look at Geno Jennings' program. It ain't my program. That's right. <laughs> That's the truth of God. That's right. That's, That's right. the truth of God. But I don't believe that a preacher program should be named after him. After him. No. Williams Ministries. <laughs> and that means Williams is the preacher. That's right. That's right. Williams Ministries. Jesse James Ministries. Mm -hmm. Then Jesse is the preacher. Jesse is the preacher. Give me something where God is the preacher. God told his apostles, not you that's speaking. That's right. The voice of my father speaketh than you. You ain't the preacher. Amen. The apostles, they wasn't preachers. No. No. God is only one preacher in the Bible. That's God. That's one right. true preacher in the Bible. God. God. Man is an instrument that's used to rehearse what God already said. That's it. Eh? That's right. Listen. Back in Jeremiah 10 and verse 3. Come on, sir. For, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest. One cut the tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workman with the axe. You got two more months. <laughs> two more months to get rid of your tree. Two months left. If you haven't bought one, thank God. That's I say, thank God. That's right. If you haven't bought one, save your money. And then when your grandchildren come to you, Grandma, just tell them, Honey, I heard this preacher, and he showed me Christmas <laughs> is of the devil. Mm -hmm. Tell your grandchild. Uh, they won't be traumatized. <laughs> tell them. That's right. You parents, if you love your children, you can't take it to no more big department store to a Christmas village. Amen. Amen. Sitting them on some per pervert lap. Pervert. <laughs> More red suit pervert. That's right. Sitting him on his lap. Because these children now, what they're asking him for, he can't bring no way. <laughs> they making big demands, buddy. Amen. They done went beyond the G.I. Joe's and the Barbie. Man, they want they want a BMW. They want a Hummer. <laughs> they want a Navigator. Amen. You know what the hypocrite tell them? All right, we'll bring it. You're liable to get it quicker from a drug dealer than you were from Santa. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Tell your children the truth. That's it. Don't hypocrite and buy them stuff for Christmas and then give it to them on the 24th. That's right. That's and right. then on be slick and say, I'm, <laughs> I'm not celebrating. But what was your intents of the heart? That's it. Bible said he knew the intents oh, of the heart. That's right. I'm thinking we can fool God. We ain't pulled nothing over on him. No, no. If every church was of God and darling son in the world, you wouldn't find a manger on the church grounds. Amen. You wouldn't find lights on nobody's house. Mm. You wouldn't find a manger on nobody's property. Mm. You wouldn't find no Santa Claus, no old plastic reindeer. That's right. That's true. You wouldn't have letting your children, you wouldn't buy them Christmas shows on videotapes. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Okay. You wouldn't take them to the ice follies to look yeah. at a Christmas folly. Amen. That's what it is. Folly. Folly. Bible said, break up your folly ground. That's right. Break it up. <laughs> huh? That's right. Break it up. Amen. You won't have none of that. None of that. <laughs> this is holiness. Holiness. Are you listening to what I'm talking? That's right. I want to take my time and soak you. Perhaps mm -hmm. you can shout tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, son. They deck it with silver and with gold. All them decorations now you can throw out. Amen. Throw that stuff out. When I was coming up, we didn't have a Christmas tree. My father didn't believe in Christmas. Thank God. But my mother, I can depend on her to be a heathen. <laughs> One thing about mothers, you know, they're more soft than the, than the father. Some my mother, she would be a heathen. I said, oh, you talk about his mother? Sure. 
That's right. She was a heathen. That's right. It isn't that she wasn't a heathen because she was my mother. Mm -hmm. She believed in Christmas. My mama was a heathen. Amen. She bought me gifts. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I go to the house and I can look at the old photo albums. We posing for pictures. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> posing near our stockings, <laughs> hanging at the fireplace, mm. posing. <laughs> my father was starch. Mm. He would get on my mother, and they both was baptized and had the Holy Ghost. <laughs> my father was starch. He would tell, you, listen, you better stop buying them children those gifts. I told you, you know that stuff is of the devil. Well, earnest, earnest nothing. You know it's of the devil. He would tell my mother, you don't quit. You're going to go to hell, too. <laughs> she would listen mm -hmm. until next year come around. <laughs> we can depend on mother. <laughs> Going out, she was a faithful heathen for her children. <laughs> Many of you are faithful heathens <laughs> for your children. Thanks, folks. That's right. Is that right? Amen. When you go out there celebrating Christmas, you are justifying a lie. That's right. When you are in holiness, we don't even indulge in exchanging gifts on the job, what they call Pollyanna. Pollyannas. If the job has a Christmas party, we don't even bake nothing. We don't That's participate right. in it. That's right. When they have Easter party, we don't even buy you a jelly bean. Amen. Not a sixteenth of an inch. Oh, no. It's either holiness. Or nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. It's gone away or nothing. That's right. Just that cut and dry. That's right. Because when the Lord appeared up in the heavens, mm -hmm. preachers say he come and looking for a church. He ain't looking for no church. He didn't lose it. <laughs> you look for what you lose. He didn't lose no church. Amen. It is written he's going to present to himself a glorious church. That means he's coming for the same thing he left. He left. Nothing different. Amen. Nothing new. The same thing. same thing. One people. Yeah. Go back to where you were. They deck it with silver and with gold. Yes. Fastened Go back to the book of Corinthians. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Uh -huh. And at verse 10. All right. Now, now the teacher, brethren, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What should all the brothers do? That ye all speak the same thing. Everything. Everybody should have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if everybody in Darlington believed the same thing? Mm -hmm practice the same thing, follow the same thing, obey the same thing. You know how better equipped God's people would be? Amen. You know how much stronger God's people would be? Amen. There shouldn't be a picture in your house of a little white Jesus and a little black Jesus. That's right. It's supposed to be the Lord's Supper. Mm -hmm. We're like a bunch of hippies from Woodstock. Amen. Amen. Who told you the apostles look like that? Who told you the apostle was a group of white men or a group of black men sitting around the table? That's right. Who told you Jesus looked like that? That's right. Get that lie off your wall. <laughs> Get it off. Get it off. Amen. Amen. That's a lie. Get it off. Get it off. That's oh, right. Say, that man talks so mean. All right. Get it off. <laughs> Get that lie out your house. Get out your house. <laughs> That's right. You understand? Amen. Some of you got statues in your house of Mary. Mm -hmm. Who told you that's Mary? Mm -hmm. The sacred heart. <laughs> Who told you that's Mary? What you doing praying to Mary? That's right. You don't bow to Mary and hit your head and Jeez. both sides of your chest and your stomach. Mm -hmm. No, we don't bow to no woman or no man. We bow to God. Oh, God, that's right. Go to church now, you cross-wearing hypocrite. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go to church. Preacher, First Baptist Church, Second Baptist, Baptist Church, yeah. Free Will Baptist. <laughs> That's right. You know what that means? <laughs> you're free to do what you will. Amen. That's why you remarry and divorce and smoke and drink and gamble and your pastor got whiskey and beer right in the church refrigerator. Right in the church. Play the lottery in the church That's and right. gamble and celebrate Christmas and Easter and Halloween. Amen. All that trash, that junk right out of hell, right in your old Baptist church. That's right.